how to transfer a domain to save money. So I got this email from GoDaddy not too long ago and realized one, I still have a domain with GoDaddy and two, I'm spending $20 per year for the renewal when I should be spending less than half of that amount. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to transfer your domain, saving you money year in and year out for as long as you have that domain. So we're gonna be transferring a domain from GoDaddy to porkbun.com where we've been purchasing all of our domains lately and the sponsor of today's video. They already have really, really low prices, but if you wanna save an additional dollar in the first year for .com, .co, .net, and other domains, check out the link in the description below. The very first thing we wanna do before going through the transfer process is making a copy of all of our DNS records. So the DNS records are what connects your domain to your website, to your landing page software, course software, email, and more. So you wanna make a copy of this. It should be transferred over successfully from one domain registrar to another, but to be safe, I recommend making a copy. So an easy way to do this would be to take a screenshot of all of your DNS records, but if something goes wrong, you need to type it all back in. You may have some DNS records that look something like this, and the chance of you actually spelling something wrong or typing something wrong is quite high. So I'd recommend copying each one individually into some type of Word doc. If it doesn't transfer over correctly, then you can just copy and paste in each one and you'll have very little downtime. And before you know it, everything will be working just like it was previously. If you currently don't have anything built with this domain, so no website, email, or anything else, you can just ignore this step and move on to the next one. The next step in the process, let's go back to the domains and we need to essentially tell GoDaddy you know what, we're going to be transferring this somewhere else. So let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so we go to the domain and here, if we scroll down further, obviously this isn't gonna be up top, front and center, it's gonna be hidden a little bit, but if you scroll all the way down where it says additional settings, transfer domain away from GoDaddy. Okay, so domain transfer out. Here's the domain transfer checklist. To transfer, click on continue. Okay, and so you wanna to click to see this authorization code, and this is the code that you'll need when we go to pork bun. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. And then to transfer your domain to pork bun, you can use the link in the description below where you save $1 on the first year for .com, .net, .io, .biz, and several other domains. Or you can just go to porkbun.com slash transfer. So here is what it's gonna look like on the transfer page. So if we scroll down a little bit further, so here we go, domain name is jjthalen.com, and then let's paste the authorization code and click submit. Are we good with that? Add transfers to cart. All right, let's see. Okay, so these are things that are gonna be turned on if you don't click here. So do not automatically turn on WhoIsGuard. You generally want WhoIsGuard where that's basically a database of who owns all domains on the internet. And if you want your name, email, phone number there, you're welcome to have it. But if you run a business from home or just don't want that information out there, having WhoIsGuard is just a nice feature that's free with pork bun, some other places may charge for it. But also the automatic renewal, again, we would want that on as well. So we're not gonna check either of those. Add transfers to cart. Okay, so jjthalen.com transfer $9.13. So as you can see, less than half of what I just paid for the renewal with GoDaddy. I really like this page because along the right-hand side, porkbun.com does a great job of explaining why porkbun versus other domain registrars. Obviously down below you have the price of 913, which is less than half of what I just paid to GoDaddy. And then up above that, you see who is privacy included, SSL certificate included, email forwarding, URL forwarding, and then a handful of free trials, such as their site builder, web hosting, and email hosting. When you purchase your domain from other registrars, a lot of times you're pressured into purchasing a whole bunch of other things, a lot of which you don't need. So with Porkbun, you get quite a bit of things for free and you get free trials to test things out and see if you need it or not versus having to pay for it before if you know if you need it. One thing not listed here, but I found to be true, is they have phenomenal customer service. So I wasn't quite sure if the DNS records were gonna be transferred from GoDaddy to Porkbun. So I called their customer service line and to test out how long it was gonna take, I set a timer, called their number, and in less than 60 seconds, I was talking to a live person. You're not gonna find that in a lot of other places. But you don't have to take my word for it. On Porkbun.com's homepage, you can easily access thousands of other reviews and see what other people have to say about Porkbun.com. One thing I almost forgot to mention is their maximum awesomeness, such as all the things you can find in their merch store. But let's continue with the transfer and click on continue to billing. And so here we go, everything's already saved. So I just need to click on pay. We have a handful of domains already with them. There we go, all set.
made the transfer. And so if I show you this article really quickly for how to transfer your domain, so, so unlock your domain from your old registrar, we did that, we got the authorization code, we went to porkman.com slash transfer or the link down below in the description, type in the domain, add the code, pay, and then now we play the waiting game. So this could take up to five business days. So I'll come back and tell you how long it actually took as soon as I get the email saying everything's already been transferred. So the domain transfer is now complete. I got this email from Porkbun on May 26th around 11 p.m., which is about six days after originally putting in the domain transfer request. It was estimated to take about five days. Maybe that was five business days, which is essentially what it took. Now let's go check on the transfer by going to porkbun.com, clicking on account in the top right-hand corner, and then clicking on domain management. These are the domains we currently have with porkbun.com, and you see down at the bottom, jjthalen.com, and below that, DNS. Let's click on that and view the DNS records. Okay, so here it says, oh no, your domain is not currently using our default name servers and this functionality requires it. Would you like us to update your domain to use our name servers? So this is probably still pointing to GoDaddy, so it thinks that GoDaddy should be managing the DNS records. So I'm gonna need to click on, yes, please update my domain. Okay, so after doing that, I'm still not seeing any DNS records here. Let's close the screen and open it up again. Okay, so it doesn't look like the DNS records were transferred from GoDaddy to Porkmon. If we scroll down further, you can see that the DNS records are currently blank. Well, in my case, I'm not currently using this domain, so I don't need to go in and update any of the DNS records. But if you have your website and email and everything connected to this domain you just transferred, you'll want to take all the DNS records that you made a copy of a little while ago and put them in to the DNS records here. And before you know it, your email, website, and everything else will be running just like before. If you wanna see what the updated DNS records look like on Porkbun, I'm not gonna go and all of them for jjthalen.com, but let's open up the DNS records for greater than enough. And here you can see the DNS records for this URL. So here's where you can add a DNS record. And if you scroll down further, you can see the current list of all the DNS records. If you need to edit them or delete any of them, you can do that along the right-hand side. That's how easy it is to transfer your domain, saving you a bunch of money in the long run. If you wanna save an additional dollar when transferring your domain or purchasing a domain from porkbun.com, don't forget to use the link in the description below. If you wanna see my tips for saving money when purchasing a domain, check out the video up above. If you wanna see how Porkbun compares to eight other domain registrars, check out the video below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.